A convicted sex offender wins $3 million in the lottery. Now, this is a problematic story for me, and I'm not sure that I really have an opinion because it's just, it's just tough, okay? So, of course, this is happening in Florida. A man convicted of sexual battery of a minor gets to call himself a multimillionaire after winning $3 million off his scratchy lottery ticket he bought at 7-Eleven. 1999, authorities in Orange County, Florida arrested Timothy Dale Poole after allegations that the man sexually battered a nine-year-old whose family was friends with Poole. According to the affidavit, the victim spent some weekends at his home and stated that Tim would sleep in the same bed at his house, perform a sex act on the child. Okay, he denied the accusation but pled guilty to a sex crime. He was sentenced to 13 months and 10 years probation, so 13 months in jail. The judge made him register as a sexual predator, okay? That's the precursor to this. He's still listed as a sexual predator on Florida Department of Law Enforcement website, okay? After failing to attend four mandatory sexual offender counseling sessions, he revoked his probation in 2003 and he continued to go back to jail for another three years. Since being released in 2006, he has no legal issues and works as a cab driver with his mom's cab company. Okay, $20 scratchy lottery ticket, scratches it, wins, pocketing $2.2 million after taxes in a lump sum all at once. Okay, there it is. This is problematic for me because on the internet, most people are really decrying this. They're saying, you know, take away this guy's money. He's a sex offender. He's a terrible person. He molested children, all this stuff. And those are all valid points. I understand that. But another part of me says, isn't the way our justice system is supposed to work that once you pay your debt to society, then you get to move on and have a life. And listen, I think, you know, child sex crimes are some of the worst possible crimes that can be committed. Don't get me wrong. They're up there. But we have a special stigma for them in the United States. And I'm not defending him by any means. I just you know, want to comment on this, that, you know, the crime is really never up for the sex offender. They'll always be in a registry. And I find it interesting that like as heinous as a crime, as murder is, we don't have a convicted murderer registry. I would be very concerned if there was a convicted murderer living on my block, even if they served their sentence. Just my take on it. Let me know what you think about in the comments below. If I'm crazy, you let me know, Fowler Nation. We'll be right back after this break. Don't forget to subscribe.